Hello, everyone. Get ready for NBA action live on 2K Sports. We've got the Seattle Supersonics and Chicago. All right, ready to go? Ready to go? Tip-off goes to Seattle. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. On the court for Seattle, we've got Schrempf. Kemp is out there with Johnson. Then it's Hersey Hawkins, and it's Peyton in at the point guard. So it's Chicago now, following the miss by Sean Kemp. That's what I like, a nice, strong finish inside. That's what he does. He's got that dunker mentality. My goodness, physicality personified right there. Able to just go up and finish over the biggest defender. So the Chicago Bulls able to put up the first points on the board. Fires top of the key. That's short off the rim. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Out of bounds. Bulls ball. Chicago keeps possession. Outside Pippen, fires the three, and it's good, assisting on the play with Jordan. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. For the Sonics, it's been a slow start. It's a five-point game. Kemp kicks to Hawkins. Peyton against Harper. Fades. Seattle missing again. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that look. Great D that time from Peyton. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go awry. He dishes it to Shrimp. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Could be the first of a lot of mid-range jumpers that we see from him. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Well, I spoke with the head coach of the Bulls. He said that as long as they move the ball and don't get baited into bad shots, their offense should carry them in this game. He said, we have a lot of guys that can fill it up. As long as we can mix up what we show them, we'll always find a way to get points. Let's see if they can vary their looks to get good shots, guys. Okay, Doris, well, the offensive approach, a primary force in the game plan today, guys. Yeah, they are out to put up a big number today, and I think they can do it. Well, that certainly seems to be the goal. I mean, it could be a shootout if their plans come to fruition. Here's Harper. Outside, Rodman. And they double up Jordan. Rodman shot is off. Peyton against Harper. Now Shrimp. Johnson with a screen on Long. Shrev passes to Kemp, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Jordan against Peyton. Outside Pippen. Harper dishes to Pippen. Six on the shot clock. Outside for Jordan. And again, Chicago. No good. Guy is a potent offense right now. Yeah, Kevin, really the offense is flowing quite nicely right now. You know what, guys, and they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. Now here's Jordan after the miss from Gary Payton. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Johnson left side, and stolen by Jordan. Unhindered, going all the way. That is up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when a steal triggers the break. And really, basketball is about rhythm, and that allows your offense to flow better. Now let's see if they can build on it and keep this lead. Here's Shrimp. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Chicago trailing here. And here is Harper. The drive by Jordan. To the paint. 
Ron Harper once again. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spot. You don't always throw it to your teammate. You throw it to where he needs to be. Shrimp against Pippen. Shrimp kicks to Johnson. Clock at six. Back to Shrimp. Fires the three. And Shrimp showing his range there with the triple. Now the Bulls with it. Trailing by two. Harper kicks to Pippen. Outside Jordan. Rodman with a screen on Peyton. No good from Jordan. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Peyton kicks to Kemp. Fade away. And another basket for Seattle. Now here's Jordan. Pass to Pippen. Longley, a screen on Kemp. Rodman passes to Jordan. Wennington, he's checked in for Chicago. Kerr comes in for Ron Harper. And a change for the Sonics. Perkins is checked in. And here are the Sonics. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Here is Hawkins. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Up top, Kemp. Five to shoot. Here's Peyton on the money from 12 feet away. They've been hot here early, dropping them in left and right. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We'll see how long they can keep it going. Yeah, you can see they've gave, gave up a lot of points here in this run, and he just wants to break the momentum before this thing gets out of hand. And, you know, that's a huge part of a coach's job, making sure you keep your guys in the best position possible at all times. So I like this timeout. Bulls trail by six. Pippen kicks to Rodman. Upside Pippen. Kerr dishes to Jordan. Looking to end the run. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. With that now, only two of seven to start the game. Not the start he was hoping for. Kemp a screen on Kerr. Passes to Hawkins. Beyond the arc. Hawkins bangs home the Jays. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Jordan the pass to Pippen. Kerr kicks to Jordan. There's the dish to Pippen. Now the feed to Kerr. Peyton against Jordan. Pippen for three. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. Jordan's got four assists now tonight. Sonics leading by four. Hawkins with it. The screen from Kemp. Hawkins kicks to Perkins. They set the screen. Shrimp. Off target with his three. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted. And really, I, I've been, I like the movement and communication there.
Chicago making some changes. Simpkins, he's checked in for Rodman. And it's Kukoc in for Pippen. And then for Seattle. Brakowski, he's checked in for Kemp. Askew comes in for Shrimp. And it's McMillan in for Hawkins. Seattle with the ball. The pass to McMillan. Puts it up from 12. Offensive rebound. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. Got a hand on it. Here's McMillan. Pass to Payton. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there, Greg. Seattle shooting their first free throws of the game. The first one falls. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Now Jordan, seven points in the game. To the inside, Simpkins passes to Wennington. Shot is off. The Sonics leading. To the middle, Askew. Oh, tried to dunk it all, but threw the foul, and he'll go to the line. He gets right to the rim, but the defense there to deter him. I really like that he didn't shy away from the contact at all. I mean, he was determined to get to the basket uh, no matter who was offering the resistance. For Seattle, they have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. And he knocks down the first one. Good on both. Bulls trail by four. Pass to Simpkins. Here's Wennington. A nice shot by Simpkins. You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to break stride. Peyton passes to Askew. Feeds it to Perkins. Peyton right side. Passes it to McMillan. Kicks it to Perkins. From deep. And it's McMillan missing. Now the Bulls with it. Trailing by two. Kerr the pass to Simpkins. Jordan against Peyton. Outside Jordan. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Kerr can't hit. Kerr against Peyton. And it's denied. Kerr dishes to Jordan. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Michael Jordan taking two shots. Shooting two. Shooting two. Free throw good, Jordan. Jordan with a good game. He already has eight points, and he's been delivering a healthy dose of helpers, too. He really has, Clark. Always with his head up, looking to make the pass, trying to find the open man. Wingate is checked in for Seattle.
That one drops. He ties it up. Here's McMillan. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And there's the pass to Burkowski for three. The rebound by Simpkins. Where you'll see him miss such an open look. Wennington passes to Jordan, so they take the lead. Jordan. Jordan's got 11. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Kerr against McMillan. And it's Chicago with the rebound. That's really too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive and focused on his finishes. Off the screen. Jordan can't get that one to fall. And, and Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. And, you know, time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game, guys. But if you're the coaching staff, it's certainly a point of emphasis. And here are the Supersonics now, following the miss by Michael Jordan. Misses off the right iron. Just cannot find the rhythm. Still yet to hit a shot this quarter. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Jordan's got 13. That's just run of the mill for him. A typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Perkins, the pass to McMillan. They set the pick. Shot to stop the drought. He takes it up and lays it in. McMillan's got his first two points. What do you do with that guy? With his handle, he abuses defender. From deep, Jordan. That drops. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Bulls lead by five. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? You know, they're not going to sit back and just take jump shots. It's all about attacking the paint and getting to the rim. That's who they are. They've been the aggressor early, attacking the hoop and getting into that paint. Bulls leading by five. We've got Rodman. Harper's out there with Pippen. Then it's Longley. And it's Kukoc in at the small forward position. That's the Bulls five as we get into the second quarter. Rodman kicks to Harper. Six on the shot clock. Bulls moving the ball around. Pippen can't hit. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, you may not be as lucky next time down if you're the defense. You cannot allow him to get those kinds of looks. Camp with the bucket. The assist, David Wingate. Chicago with the ball. Three-point lead. Pippen against Wingate. Up top, Pippen. Johnson with the block. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Wingate against Pippen. Here is Wingate. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Just two to shoot. Here's Johnson. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. 
Bushler's checked in for Chicago. And the Supersonics also making a change. Gary Payton, he's checked in for Wingate. The Bulls leading by three. Outside Pippen. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Punches it down with pop. Rubs it in. It looks like a little deeper with the hanging finish. I tell you what, they are not backing off at all, are they? Now here's Peyton. It's Shrimp on the wing. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Peyton's got three assists tonight. And so here is Chicago. Pass to Bushley. Shrimp against Pippen. To the middle. Passes it to Bushley. Up top, Pippen. Clock at four. From about 16, they get it again. Dishes it to Rodney. Back to Pippen. Second shot opportunity. Boy, for a guy 6'8 to move like that, Pippen, so impressive. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Swiped away. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. And he lays it up and in. Now it's a seven-point Bulls lead. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. They better not. I mean, they've got to pad their lead anytime an opportunity presents itself, and that was a golden. Here's Bushler. He's covered by Hawkins. Bushler, the pass to Pippen. Here's Bushler. Back to Pippen. 17-foot shot on the way. And it's Chicago scoring again. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Bulls. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steals. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. The Sonics have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Two shots. And the first one drops. And both free throws good for Johnson. And Chicago has possession to the paint. And taken away by Johnson. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Payton against Harper. The feed now to Johnson. Outside Harper. Rodman sets a screen for three. Pippen. The Bulls keep it alive. Rodman no good. Sonics trail by seven. Peyton outside. And the basket by Shrimp. Shrimp's got four points this quarter. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this.
outside Pippen. Pippen is doubled. Screened by Longley. Here's Harper. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. They've been getting it inside at every opportunity and getting results, too. Yeah, that's a winning formula as far as I'm concerned. They've been the aggressors and far more assertive on the offensive end. You know, obviously, you, you know, there's some things out there he does not like and wants to talk it over. Well, Greg, you play and you uh, envision yourself as a coach as well. So, you know, sometimes uh, you need to make some adjustments. Here is Peyton. Down to five on the shot clock. Got a piece of it, but they'll get another chance. That is good. Shrump's got six points in the quarter. The Bulls leading by five. Harper the pass to Bushler. Back to Harper. the pass to Bush. Wants to get it to Rodman and does. Here's Pippen. No good. Nice D from Shrimp. Sonic's trail by five. Peyton kicks to Hawkins. Up top Shrimp. The dish now to Kemp. Uncovered. Shot is off, so the Bulls will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. Shrimp against Harper. From 10 feet out, again the miss by Kemp. They really depend on him to convert those chances. A lot of times, even with solid D draped on him, they expect him to make it. Pass to Bushler. Screened by Longley. Pass to Harper. Fires it up. And the Bulls with another miss. Sonics trail by three. Now here's Peyton. Percy Hawkins on the wing. The screen from Kemp. Hawkins kicks to Kemp. Hawkins passes to Johnson. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. He's drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. The Supersonics shoot their 7th and 8th free throw attempts for the game right here. And that one falls for Johnson. Even though they're trailing, they're, they're having some success from the foul line here, and that could go a long way towards getting them back into it. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Simpkins comes in for Dennis Rodman. Jordan, he's checked in for Bushler. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. And Johnson drops them both. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Passes it to Simpkins. Back to Kerr. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Wennington. He's now one for two with that bucket. That's a nice job of getting the ball in the paint and burying the shot. That's exactly how it's done. 
feeds to Perkins. The pass to McMillan. He kicks it to Peyton. And it's blocked. And it turns out it's going to be a foul. He was hoping for a clean block, but the officials felt otherwise. So we'll see some free throws here. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the first one drops. Here in the second quarter, they've made all of their shots from the foul line. And that's a must-do when you're down. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Scotty Pippen. And the Supersonics also making a change. Burkowski's checked in. And he makes both free throws. Chicago leading. Jordan with it. 16 points for him. And they double up Jordan. Wennington passes to Simpkins. Stolen away. Here's Askew, defended by Curry. Kicks it to Payton. It's tipped, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Supersonics will retain possession. The Supersonics making a switch here. Wingate's checked in. He feeds it to Perkins. Sam Perkins knocking down the three. Clark, this tug-of-war game continues. You know what? And they just keep flip-flopping the lead again and again and again. And, guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. And stolen by Perkins. Here's the break. Here's Wingate. And out of bounds is Chicago game's possession. Chicago trailing here. Kerr kicks to Kukoc. He dishes it to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Simpkins passes to Kukoc. Outside Jordan. Clock at six. Lennington. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash-mouth basketball, guys. It's all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. It's a close game here in Chicago. Here's Askew. Now Kerr. Pass to Simpkins. Lennington. Bounces high off the rim and drops. He's got seven. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Kerr against McMillan. Passes it to Askew. Perkins with the screen. Shot clock at five. Seattle needs to get off a shot. Here's McMillan. The Bulls leading by three. Kerr kicks to Jordan. 11 feet away. No luck. Here's McMillan. Perkins with the screen. Kukoc against McMillan. Pass to Burkowski. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Burkowski's got his first bucket in this one. 
Jordan dishes to Kukoc. Knocked loose, pushing it up. Here's McMillan. Trips down the breakaway slam. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. Well, neck and neck, how about that? I mean, ferociously competitive. I mean, tight as me in an airplane bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not the visual I was looking for right now, but there have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. Here's Simpkins. Four on the clock. Here's Kukoc. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. And the Bulls lead by one. Beautiful reverse. He got his glide on and left the D in the rearview mirror. Perkins with a screen on Kerr. McMillan passes to Perkins. Jump shot knocked down Sam by Perkins. Sam Perkins. This is really the story of the game here. They've been excellent from behind the arc. Perkins gone two for two so far from three. And here's Kukoc, a baseline J. Soft touch off the glass. Kukoc has got the game tied up here for the Bulls. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. No good from Perkins. Shot and game clock separated by five. And there's Michael Jordan. The assist by Kerr. Kerr's got three assists now in this one. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Here's McMillan. Plenty of space. Sam Perkins converts. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Here's Jordan. Banked in off the glass. Jordan's got 20 points. Worth that one inside nicely. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game going on here. It's the Bulls up two. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. It's as if he can get to the rim any time he wants. And in that first half, he wanted to quite a bit. And that's where his points were coming from. I mean, the defense has to do a much better job of challenging him at the rim. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. On the court for Seattle. Schrempf is out there with Sean Kemp. Then there's Hawkins. Then there's Peyton. And it's Johnson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Harper 
Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5-for-8 clip. Nice move and finish. I think the halftime break really gave him a second win. Peyton outside. Just five on the clock. Pick off in midair. Here's Pippen. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The Bulls have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Taking two shots. The first free throw is good. That one misses. Sonics trail by five. Up top, Shrimp. He's guarded by Harper. Kempa screen on Jordan. Dishes it to Kemp. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Kemp's got ten. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Now here's Pippen. Inside, Rodman passes to Longley, and three from Jordan, and the shot is good. Jordan's got 23. The defender there in the neighborhood, but not quite close enough. Good shot. Peyton outside. The feed to Kemp. From eight. No good off the back of the rim. The Bulls leading by six. Here's Jordan. Nice D from Shrimp. Here's Seattle. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Peyton outside. Down low. Out to Shrimp. Five on the clock. The screen from Kemp. Pulls foul. Scotty. That's his first personal foul. Bulls on D. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Peyton kicks to Kemp. Shot clock at five. Here's Shrimp. But they recover it. And it's Kemp with the jam. And what a gutty play. I mean, muscles his way to the rebound and then just pounds it home for the footback. Well said, G.A. The battle on the boards, Clark, could go a long way toward deciding this game. You know, and if that play is any indication, that's a battle they're willing to put every ounce of their energy into winning. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. <laughs> guys, this one is threatening to get really ugly. Yeah, can't be pleased with all these easy looks. They continue to give up there in the paint. No, I'm sure he's not, Greg. I mean, their defense is showing a lot of holes, especially down low. That's unacceptable. get this update now from Doris Burke is across the way on the sideline. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Seattle's coach as he addressed his basketball team. He's looking for some old-fashioned offense right now. He wants the pick and roll to be the centerpiece of their game plan at that end of the floor. He also wants to see a patient offense, work for the shot, move the ball around, and as he told them, quote, if you don't see a good shot, find someone who does. Perhaps the rest of the second half will look different after those adjustments, Kevin. 
Thank you, Doris. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. For Chicago, they have hit most of their free throws tonight. Five of six. At the line for two. Free throw good, Jordan. Kevin, you look at their free throw percentage. They've been very efficient from the line today. That's a big factor. And so Jordan nails both of them. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Harper against Peyton. Wide open. Jump shot is good. Peyton's got seven points in the game. Chicago leading by six. sets a screen the pass to Longley the dish to Harper Rodman with a screen on Hawkins and taken away by Johnson Shrimp against Harper they get a hand on it outside Pippen a rebound by Johnson Johnson's got four rebounds in this game feeds it to Payton Back to Johnson. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. He's had four chances at the line. Made them all. Two shots. Okay, gentlemen. Two shots. Two shots. That's good from Johnson. And so he makes both from the line. He's been absolutely in control. No slowing down for Johnson. He has eight points and two steals. Really dominating this game. Just taking it over. And really, the fact that he's making it look so effortless while he's doing it. Here's Peyton. He has seven. There's the pick. The screen from Kemp. Peyton dishes to Shrimp. Johnson with a screen on Pippen. No good from Shrimp. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Now here's Jordan. 27 points for him. He kicks to Pippen. It's taken away by Peyton. That's tipped. Johnson with a screen on Jordan. 
Payton passes to Johnson to the paint. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. The number of second chance points they've gotten is also impressive. I mean, they've kept so many possessions alive with offensive rebounds. Now here's Jordan. Back to Pippen. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Yeah, just nice strength there and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, Greg, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. The Bulls have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Taking two shots. That free throw good from Pippen. Both free throws, good for Pippen. Looking at the game Pippen has been having, he has 15 points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. And you know what? The defenders have that in the back of their minds now. They'll be on him a little tighter. He had a nice open look right there. Peyton's got nine points. And that's definitely a shot that he has in his arsenal. Throws it up high, and it's Jordan with the jam. Incredible timing on the alley oop. He absolutely hammered it down. And guys, mark that play right there because that could be the one that leads to a surge to break this thing wide open. Here is Hawkins. Six points for him. Shrimp with it. Just five to shoot. And that misses everything. You love the close out on that possession. Excellent defense. Active, and he made it a very tough shot for him. Screen by Longley. It's taken away by Pete. Picked away. Longley passes to Harper. Kicks to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Up top, Pippen. He's guarded by Johnson. Boy, he's just dangling from the rim after sending it through there. You can see which team now has the Swagger Clark right now. Yeah, it's exactly. It's with them. And guys, that Swagger can backfire because you don't want to get your opponent a little too riled up. Peyton kicks to Kemp. It's stolen by Rodman. Pass to Jordan. All sorts of time. It's Chicago with another bucket. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. They set the screen. Harper against Peyton. Marked down low that time, and he got the three-second goal. Some changes for Chicago. Wennington, he's checked in for long. Kukoc comes in for Michael Jordan. And Kerr is subbed in for Harper. Sam Perkins, he's checked in for the Sox. Chicago leading by seven. Outside Pippen. Pass to Wennington. Outside Kukoc. Kerr dishes to Rodman. To the inside. And stolen by Peyton. With the teardrop, boy, Gary Payton there with a heck of a move. You know, obviously, he knows how to finish with some flair. Pippen kicks to Kukoc. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. And it's Pippen with the jam. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And oh. hammering down with the two-handed slam. Just piling on the lead with the dunk like that. Now here's Payton. 11 points in the game. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. That's going to send Gary Payton to the line. It's going to go on Steve Kerr. Some changes for Seattle. 
Askew comes in for Kemp, and it's McMillan in for Hawkins. That's good from Peyton. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. This game has been a battle, and maybe they're starting to just run out of gas a little bit. Here's McMillan. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Nate McMillan taking two shots. Okay, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And that one falls for McMillan. Chicago making a switch here. Simpkins checked in. McMillan hits them both. And Chicago has possession. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Pippen against McMillan. Pass to Kukoc. Back to Kerr. Right side Rodman. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Pippen. It's Chicago with another bucket. Unbelievable. This guy is completely in a zone. And he knows it. You can see it. The body language, the confidence. Real swagger out there for him. Here's McMillan. Six points for him. Perkins with the screen. McMillan passes to Perkins. Perkins with the bucket. You can't afford to give him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. To the left wing. Now Kerr. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Back to Pippen. Not going to go as it bounces high off the rim. Sonics trail by three. Here's McMillan. They set the pick. Askew. Terrific design on the pick foot, and he lays it in. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. Kerr dishes to Pippen. Back to Kerr. He feeds it to Pippen. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Peyton. But still, eventually you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Oh, no. Not the guy you want to put on the line, Kevin. He's an ATM from the free throw line. This will make four trips to the line so far in the game. Taking two shots. Okay, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. He's off on the first. Take a look at what Peyton's been doing. He's got 14 points, and the steals are starting to pile up for him also. And Clark, he's really gotten into their heads because of it. I mean, guys are on the lookout for him, always worrying about where he is. Longley's checked in for Simpkins. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. Peyton against Pippen. He dishes it to Rodman. There's the feed to Kukoc. And the pass to Kerr. He kicks to Pippen. Six to shoot. Pulls it up. And again, Chicago. No good. Here's the break. 
Here's McMillan. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. Chicago leading. Kerr with it. Now Peyton defending. To the middle. It's deflected. Shrimp with the steal. For the lead. No good from Peyton. And so here is Chicago. Rodman with a screen on McMillan. Pippen is doubled. Rodman kicks to Kukoc. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. The Bulls have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Tony Kukoc. At the line for two. All right, now. Shot clock at 13. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Kukoc. Wingate is checked in for the Sox. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. McMillan kicks to Shrem. Screen by Perkins. Offensive rebound, Sonics. And here's Schrempf, 13 points in the game. Over Kerr. And that one goes long. Ill-advised shot there, Clark. Yeah, exactly. That was lower than low percentage. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Bulls lead by two. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. The Sonics trailing. We've got Jordan. Dennis Rodman is out there with Tony Kukoc. Then it's Longley. And it's Harper in at the point guard position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Harper with the ball. He's covered by Hawkins. Jordan, the pass to Kukoc. Rodman sets a screen. There's the screen. Kemp with the steal. Pass to Hawkins. Here's Askew. Kemp with it. Guarded now by Dennis Rodman. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Peyton, he's checked in for Wingate. The free throw is good. Now leading by one. Here's Chicago. Rodman kicks to Jordan. And stolen by Perkins. Askew. Kukoc with the rebound. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. It's Jordan on the wing, covered by Peyton. Shot clock at six. Kukoc kicks to Rodman. Kemp with the rebound. Kemp's got his sixth rebound on the night. Dishes to Perkins. But jump shot buried by Sam Perkins. Wow, got that one off right in the face of the big fella. Nice quick fire release. Yeah, and the mid-range shot really the only option in that situation. Sometimes when you're facing a bigger guy, you can't get it all the way to the rim. The shot is off. 
And it's the Sonics taking it the other way. Peyton dishes to Perkins. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Rodman's got six rebounds now in the game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find something, you're right. Sonics leading by three. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Kemp a screen on Jordan. Peyton passes to Kemp. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. That was an outstanding pick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. sideline with Doris Burke. Well, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what the head coach of the Chicago Bulls was going over in his huddle. They're getting out shot from the perimeter. He told them, we've got to close out faster on the outside shooters. These threes are killing us. Kevin, can they tighten their D? Thanks, Doris. Johnson, he's checked in for Sam Perkins to stop the run, and the layup is up and in. Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. That's costly. And at this stage of a tight game, the tired legs really start to show. A defense becomes vulnerable if you can continue to pound it inside. Here's Kemp, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Talk about a terrific game for Sean Kemp. He's got 14 points, and he's come up with a couple of nice steals today, too. Clark, just a very energetic brand of defense. At the line, the Bulls. First one falls for him. And so Kent nails both of them. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Rodman with a screen on Peyton. And they double up Jordan. Rodman up top. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan's got five assists in the game. Sonics leading by three. Kemp a screen on Harper. They set the pick. Peyton and Kemp connect on the Sonic boom. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to and it. And you know, guys, right now, they're starting to flatline, just hanging on here for dear life. Peyton outside. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Shooting for Chicago. Very good. Two shots. That's good from Peyton. Free throw is good for Peyton. Bulls trail by seven. 
Outside Jordan. Passes it to Longley. Back to Jordan. And the layup falls. Jordan's got 33 points. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Peyton against Harper. Peyton, good. Peyton's got the lead up to seven now for Seattle. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Outside Harper. There's the dish to Rodman. Poke loose. Kemp with the steal. Peyton right side. And another field goal in this total. Make it 7 for 14, shooting 50%. And now both teams really in a groove. This game already, um, guys, was high scoring, but they've really amped and ramped it up to another level down the stretch. Now here's Rodman. Feeds it to Jordan. The fader. A beautiful fadeaway jumper by Jordan. Great shot. Had the fade back, but he still managed to drain. Sonics leading by seven. Hawkins with it. Six on the shot clock. Kicks it to Johnson. Pass to Hawkins. Puts it up from 12. And that one hits back iron. Now the Bulls with it. Jordan dishes to Harper. Kukoc for three. And yes, sir, that one drops. Defensively, they can't afford to back off of him that much. You don't want to be giving up easy threes, especially at this stage of the game. here. Shrimp's checked in. And here are the Supersonics now. Four-point game. Johnson the screen. Hayton. That's tipped. That's out of bounds. Seattle will retain possession. Sonics ball. There's a screen. Here's Shrimp. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. At the line for the Bulls. Sean Penn at the line for two. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. He did the important part at the line there. The heavy lifting, if you will. Made this a two-possession game. Harper kicks to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Longley, a screen on Peyton. From the arc. 
Another three for Chicago. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Now here's Peyton. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Kukoc. Can't tie it up as that one misses. The Sonics leading. Now Hawkins. Can't get it to go. Kukoc with the defensive effort. To tie it up. Jordan the pass to Rodman. And it's denied. Who coach against Peyton? Shot from the wing. Who coach with the defensive effort? They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. Excellent display of team play. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operation. Mm, oh. Shot A. I like that, Greg. <laughs> Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. Scotty Pippins checked in for Chicago. And it's tied up with that one. He's certainly been hitting well from the line, and those points do add up. Now here's Peyton. Here's the screen. Kicks it out to Hawkins. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. And the Sonics lead by two. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. Harper dishes to Pippen. Inside. Runner in the lane. Count the bucket. Pippen's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. Peyton's shot is off. Usually, if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Out of bounds. Seattle will take possession. Here's Seattle. Johnson the screen. Shot off the screen. Bullseye. Peyton's got 17 points here in the second half. And those are two teammates right there working in rhythm. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. Here is Harper. Rodman kicks to Jordan. Back to Rodman. Goes up to the stripe. And it's Chicago scoring again. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. The shot by Peyton, no good. And they're in position to take the lead. You know what? A bucket here would mean a bunch at this stage of the game. Screen by Longley. Jordan, the pass to Rodman. They now take the lead. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. And the free throw, no good. The Sonics trailing. There's the steal. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Harper dishes to Jordan. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's had. Seattle with the ball. Peyton outside. 
Jackson. Off the run, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one, drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. the first one and that shrinks the margin to just four. He hits both from the strike. And you just knew he wasn't going to miss that one. Not with so much riding on it. Yeah, I think he just sees some things that can be improved and wants to get everybody back on the same page. And usually that, to me, is a good use of the timeout. I mean, if there's something that he's noticed that can give his team a lift, I think he's got to try to take advantage of that. And here are the Bulls now. Three-point lead with the finger roll, but full finish from Scotty Pippen. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. He's really taking it to him inside. they got to find a way to slow him down. One fifty-six left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Kemp. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Kemp's got 21 in the game. They're not as aggressive from the outside here. But maybe they should think about stretching the defense a little bit. Like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. Jordan kicks to Harper. Michael Jordan on the wing, covered by Peyton. There's the pass to Longley. Down low. Up and in on the way. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Textbook. Really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. They don't seem to have any answers for him. They need to review their game plan and look for a way to cool him off. Cheer 
135 left to play here in the fourth. Kemp kicks to Schrempf. Peyton drives in. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. First of two, no good. Heartbreaker. He's made an effort to get into the defense a lot more by aggressively attacking the basket, and he's not shying away from the contact, which has given him some free throw opportunities. And the second of two is good. That shrinks the margin to just four. Listen, they're still right in this thing. Missing that free throw, though, keeps this a two-possession deficit. Rodman with a screen on Peyton. The drive by Jordan. the first and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Getting both at the line and it's a six point ball game. A job well done at the line on that possession. They'll make things a little easier on themselves if they can convert those. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. You know, that's hard to explain that play. I mean, I, I guess he thought he had more room than he did. Chicago leading by six. Outside Pippen. He feeds it to Jordan. Peyton with some nice D. It's going to be tough for him here, but maybe, just maybe, it's not over yet. Cannot afford any empty possessions. They've got to recycle everything, partner. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. Free throw is good, and that brings them within five. And so Hawkins drills both of them. Flawless trip to the free throw line that time, and that gap just got a little narrow. Outside, Rodman. Jordan against Peyton. The drive by Jordan takes the elbow jumper and trains it. Jordan's got 44. Gotta score quickly. Yeah, no time to waste here, partner. Harper against Peyton. He dishes it to Shrimp. The feed to Kemp. No one near him. Count it! And now they trail by just four. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game out. Exactly. I mean, got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligate arm a few of those free throws. the first and that puts them up by five and 
so both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. to Hawkins. Peyton outside. Shrimp dishes to Johnson. Peyton kicks to Kemp. On the wing, Johnson. Fires the three. Off target. And so it's Chicago winning this one. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds, Clark. You know what? They showed their character in crunch time, though, doing what had to be done to send these fans home happy. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. And as we leave, we give you our Jordan player of the game, Michael Jordan.